Hey, what's up, Scott Balgamir with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're taking a look inside my bag. That sounds weird. So I've gotten a lot of requests, which I find really odd. I don't, I don't understand what is so intriguing about everyone's bag, although I will admit I've probably watched 15 or so videos of that uh, over the last 10 years. But I get asked a lot, what's in my bag when I'm on a adventure shoot or when I'm out in nature or, uh, you know, even a, a run and gun commercial. So I just got off of a very small commercial shoot uh, just for a local uh, commercial. And my bag is basically packed exactly as I would have it for those as well as for when I'm out in nature and I'm hiking around and shooting nature. So I figured let's just do a teardown on it and uh, let's see, because uh, I, I guess you wanna know. Okay, no problem at all. So this is my uh, backpack that I carry around uh, when I'm shooting red. Um, and this is the size that it is. This is a Mountain Smith Parallax. Um, I think, I think they still make this bag the same way. It may be different. If not, uh, I mean, I did a review on it like four years ago, but it is a really big bag. It is a back opening bag. It is the only bag that I've found that is deep enough that I can do a full red build inside of it and not have to take it apart all the time. I do, like when I air travel and such, I do take it apart further just for safety. But yeah, this is the Mountain Smith Parallax. And so I, um, I don't think it's missing on here is my Miller tripod, which is quite heavy and big. And it actually, I strap it in right here. Uh, it, it goes into this little pocket and it sticks out. It weighs about 15 pounds and it is heavy on the back, but that's what these waist straps are for. Uh, these go around and you kind of set them right on your waist. It takes all the load off of your back and your shoulders and in onto your pelvic. So let's see what I got in here. Um, well, I don't, I don't normally carry cigars, but this case was a cigar shoot. So, um, yeah, a couple of celebratory gu guitars. So here are lens caps, uh, various um, extra lens caps I might need, and a red tool, and uh, business cards. Always carry around your business cards. People say, oh, you don't need business cards. You need business cards because people go, oh, where can I find you? <laughs> Wop out your business card, and magic happens. Got the Zoom H6 recorder and then a box of rechargeable AA batteries. I don't go anywhere without those. Uh, they work in both the wireless LAV here and the H6 and anything else that is needing it. Uh, also, and again, some of this stuff is what I take in my single backpack, but it may not be what I actually hike with. So if I'm going on a hike, I, I don't need to take, say, my laptop. That, that doesn't need to go in there, but I, uh, it does go in the backpack when, when I travel. Um, a notepad, gotta have a notepad so you can keep track of anything that is going on, little changes, especially when you're in the field and you don't have your laptop. See, it's perfect. So now, let's see what we can do here. Is there an easy way to, there is no easy way. So this is a back opening parallax. Now let's go from the top. Let's do it that way because then I can unload this way and then we'll go around. So from the top, I carry a pair of junky headphones because I don't care about them. Uh, let's see here, what we got in here? This is wireless love. Always carry that around, not on nature shoots, but on commercial shoot, run a gun. Um, here's one of the blue shape batteries that I carry. Here is two of the blue shape batteries that I carry. I carry a uh, Bright Tangerine Misfit Atom Map Box. This is my go-to super lightweight map box. Always have it, it's got rubber, so it, it acts as a matte box and just a little bit of a protection. You can stack two filters in there uh, and it just clamps right on to rings that you'll see in just a moment. Well, I hope this, none of this falls off. That would make my day worse. All right, so there, 
Um, then we go to this guy. What else is in here? These are bags for the monitor that I'll just show you in a minute, but at the moment it's attached. Ooh, it smells like cigar smoke. <laughs> go figure. Cigar shoot. Smells like cigar smoke. Smoke. All right, so this right here is my lens filter bag. And in here I have several NDs uh, as well. So I have three NDs. I have a 0.6, a 1.2, a 1.8, and then I have a circular polarizer. I also have a, uh, a half strength black pro mist as well as a low con and uh, a clear filter. Uh, why you carry around a clear filter? Uh, honestly, sometimes there are situations you're gonna be in that puts the camera lens a little more danger and I don't need a, like an ND filter on there. So I put a clear, it's a, it's a water white glass that I put on there so it doesn't color it at all. It does, does tend to give a little bit of reflection, unfortunately, but that's just the nature of putting something in front of, of glass. But um, that, uh, that will help protect the front element of the lens. So it's, it's just something that I, I carry around. All right, so we have, um, this is a monitor hood. I use this anytime I'm outdoors, uh, the sun gets onto the monitor and it goes there. Uh, this is a little stand for the Zoom H6 and I just carry it around because if I'm out in nature, I put the H6 out and just, uh, just let it record. And that way, at least I'll have some ambient sound out there. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to, to let that sucker run. I've got rechargeable batteries, no big deal. Uh, this is another blue shape. Uh, and when I, when I fly, I use the smaller ones um, because these are not uh, air travel approved. But when I am driving, which I do primarily in my van, then I use these bigger ones, this is a 225 and 2180s. And this will get me through an entire day of shooting. They, they're just, they're beasts. Uh, let's see here. This is the Sigma 50 to 100, and it has the ring on the front. And as I was talking about the rings, they are thread on rings and they go on just like that. And then they tighten up and now you've got a matte box attached to your, um, to your lens, super fast. Uh, I have rings of different sizes. I, I only carry the rings I usually have them attached uh, already to the lenses. That way I don't have to deal with it in, in the field. Um, then another bag, when I, I protect my monitor. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We've got media here that um, from the shoot, so there's um, two red mags. I, I carry 512 gig uh, cards. This one was shot last night, so I have to offload it. Um, but I just carry around them in this little think tank bag. This thing was four batteries, um, but it's awesome for red mags, and I can't find it anymore. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking, think tank, but you know, hook a brother up. Let's uh, let's get some more red mag ca cases going on out here. Okay, and then we've got uh, the Dragon X, and that should be it in there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you can see. That's, that's how I have it. I have the Dragon in here, lenses, and then batteries and uh, such go there. And I will carry from time to time, there's a third spot in there for, I will carry the 24 to 70 Canon, um, but it's not my favorite lens. So I only carry it when I absolutely have to have in between a 35 and a 50. Um, and yeah, I, I try not to carry it that much, but here is my red, and it is always sitting on, um, well, that's interesting, lost my little foot. Uh, it's always sitting on the Kessler quick plate, which allows it to be very, very stable. Um, mount up a battery to it, got a lens on it. I mean, I pull it out and I'm ready to go. I, I can shoot. In the time it takes for me to power it on, I've already got it rigged up and ready to go. Oh, we're outdoors, you say? No problem. Velcro 
to the rescue. There we go. So there's my run and gun uh, backpack load of stuff. And you know, it works. I use the uh, wide open camera lens gears. Uh, even when I'm not using a follow focus, for the most time I'm not using follow focus unless I'm on a set or I need just that fine control. A lot of times I'll go back, like if there's a, uh, like a, a focus pull, a, a very deep focus pull that I have to nail from very far and very close. I'll go back and get my follow focus so I can set my start and stop points. Um, but for the most part, I'm just carrying it like this and the wide open lens gears allow me to not change anything on the lens. And I still have good traction here. Uh, it's great. Uh, this is the Sigma 18 to 35. This is the Sigma 50 to 100. Uh, these are now my go-to lenses with the... Um, the Dragon X, uh, before I had the Dragon uh, Epic 6K, which is a little bit larger than Super 35 or um, the uh, APS-C size, which what these are lenses are designed for. So when I shot with 6K before, um, I had to make sure either like the 18 to 35, I had to shoot it at about 21 to 35. And I didn't have the 5100, I actually have the, uh, the, the 24 to 70, which is full frame. Uh, and I would shoot with it. But now that I am Super 35 only in 5K, yeah, I do kind of miss the K every once in a while, but you know, I, I gained so much with this this guy. So yeah, it's, it's give and take. Um, yeah, so uh, 18 to 35, 50 to 100. Uh, these are F1.8 lenses or T1.9, uh, they would be. Um, they are phenomenal. And I, I do use the seven inch red monitor because pulling focus with the five is impossible. Also, I can swivel this bad boy, whereas I cannot do that with the, um, the five inch. Uh, as far as handle, I use this very thin handle and I, I carry it like that. And I find myself a lot of times just holding the camera like this when I'm, when I'm shooting like handheld. Um, I am working on um, a better version of this because this, this handle is great, but you only get three fingers on it and it's not, you can't carry it in different positions. You can only carry it in one position. So your arms, if you're carrying it, uh, your arms tend to get tired. So I'm probably going to go with some type of side handle or even the GDU cowboy handles. That is, uh, that's the kit. Um, now, obviously, if I'm gone for an extended period of time, I have a support bag. That support bag will have tools, uh, extra tools, extra parts. Um, it'll have a charger for the batteries, uh, various things like that. I might even have a shotgun mic, if, if depending on where I'm going. But yeah, this is my uh, my little running gun gear. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look inside my bag. It still sounds weird. Um, and uh, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Also, I do have a Patreon if you wish to support me that way. I really, really do appreciate it if, if you do. Um, but yeah, as I always like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions.